Howdy guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel. Great man and welcome on another map review. <laughs> Great man and then this is also another map from one of you guys, one of my YouTube subscribers and um, friends on YouTube. Um, his YouTube name or his, um, what do you call it, his, his call name or whatever is called Wholesale2014 <laughs> and he has made this map um, also his first map and um, also from watching my videos so he said that I can make a, a quick look around and a video of his map just to showcase what can be done once again for from having no experience in map making to creating something to enjoy and play and have fun on you know so yeah well done man well done brother that is a, a great achievement to finish something that works and you can look back at it and enjoy it yeah great man guys so this is a uh, uh, farmer bob and if if this is your first time uh, on my channel a warm welcome to you hit that subscribe right now while we're on the topic and uh, don't forget about it because it's important and also if you like what you see and hear uh, please do give it a like i really appreciate it. it helps the channel grow and the algorithms and all those nonsense you know <laughs> great so let's jump in and have a look at this map guys um uh, from the get-go i just need to say he did mention to me that he used some of alien jim or that guy from the another planets you know uh, um from far out jim is his name <laughs> alien jim <laughs> so some of the mods in the game is from him um it's public mods so he used them in his map which is totally all right no problem with that but we want to give credit um that some of the mods or buildings or whatever he has used is from alien jim's um archive so good guys uh you can already automatically let's have a quick look at um, the map itself and the layout and how it works farmlands nicely blocked so you can buy pieces of land um, and um, yeah make it make it work nice and add to your farm i believe you start in the middle yes that is the 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 um if you look at that the home farm or the home base is in the center of the map which is nice and that is exactly where we are standing at the moment so that is good and then i believe there's four farms he said um there's one here um and i think there's one here that's two and i think maybe obviously there's three the, the main one so somewhere there's another one hiding in here <laughs> maybe we'll find it i don't know but we're gonna have a quick browse around just to to have a look and see what it looks like and the environment and everything but i must say guys um to make something from scratch like this it is hard work i spoke to him he said roughly about 80 hours when i spoke to him a week ago and i know he spent at least another 10 or 20 hours so you can look at 100 hours like i said always from the beginning it takes roughly 100 hours to make a map and that is 100 hours of blood sweat and tears <laughs> that you need to get around anyways guys here it is um it is wholesale 2014 and this is his map that he's made called uh, uh, fat man's flat land great so yeah let's uh, have a look at the farm and what is in the farm here we've got a little shack there which is the house where you can sleep and a and a little um, uh, um shed for the for the vehicles and then you start with this one field on your property and the property is fairly big if you look at the farmland for the for the home base so you can do a lot on this property yeah you, know, you can really do your own thing go crazy there's a silo uh, by the looks of it and here's a little workshop so very very nicely done but uh, I, I really like it yeah great let's have a quick quick look at the at the starting fleet just to um, see what we start with two tractors which is nice no problem with those one harvest or oh, two harvesters you start with two harvesters wow what a bargain a teleander obviously for other works a van it looks like only the lizard truck it's one of my favorite trucks anyway 1970 80s truck and the nice trailer um two headers obviously one plow a cultivator a cedar basically all the all the little nitty gritties that you need and a little weight um, so you've got everything to to start farming that's what you want to do 
it starts small and farm and buy some more um, gland and grow and in this case you've got enough land to start with for a long time you're going to be plowing and making fields here like like you won't believe right cell points guys let's have a look at the cell points um there's three cell, cell points farm shop grain mill and another farm shop all right so have a look at them on the map let's have a quick look where they are i've i've noticed one down here at the bottom um i think this is it here yeah that's the farm shop that's storage that's a farmer's market here's a restaurant that's obviously production a pizzeria production um this i believe is another vehicle workshop that's at the main farm yeah a restaurant a supermarket a db crusher and these things are just uh, um other it's like industry right another one cereal factory oil mill grape processing unit sugar mill grain mill a supermarket restaurant yeah it is he, he's like really gone to town put everything in here gas station and on this side i believe this is another farm yes this is the cow farm by the looks of it and this one is the animal dealer so this is a sort of a little town with a farm shop farmers market um and this here is i believe the other farm it's got the water tank and the vehicle workshop that's where your other harvester is there it is yeah good now i like it guys it is a really nice map and just for the for the um aestheticness of everything let's have a browse around at the other farm this is uh, your southeastern farm yeah this guy you live in a trailer nicely elevated high up in a trailer and i believe this is sheep so this will be uh or is this now the cows could be cows could be sheep only one way to find out but it looks like it looks like sheep guys yeah or it might might be that these cows on this side yeah that's cows for sure so we've got cows here there's the manure heap and sheep on that side by the looks of it yes cows and sheep and a nice field tanker here great job man and i didn't mention that he's got 12 12 fields guys ranging from small like the one on the farm actually the one on the farm isn't isn't part of the numbered fields so um, there's 12 extra fields that you can um that's already there you know but i mean i i it looks like the aim of this map is to to make your own fields and plow your own stuff you know make your own way in the world great and let's just take a run up here to this uh liquid manure tank and a manure heap i just want to see if i can visit any of these see what's up here here's a whole industry up here yeah this looks like um cows definitely cows so yeah this farm will be a that is the the farm that was hiding from us the fourth farm it's a cow farm up up north and this one will be available when you buy the land so when you buy the purchase the land bloop, all the icons pop up for the for the cows it's the same with all the other things you know um it, it just populates when you when you buy the land great and then this is great just take a quick visit at one of the factories we all know what they look like um it's just normal factories this one produces oils and stuff and um but what's what's interesting to me is the environment guys how you how you can spend time making your own map spent hours and hours designing it making roads and planting trees and yeah configuring stuff <laughs> i know what it's all about it's a lot of work oh sorry it's 13 fields here's another field um hiding here on top um it's it's white and that number just eluded me because it's also white so when i zoomed in now i quickly um saw that field 13 um field 13 is now behind us so it's this way oh here it is just want to have a look at it what is on it because it's all white so white means what oh yeah it is cotton man white is cotton obviously okay so that makes sense guys it's a normal two times map by the way um nothing um nothing bigger than that is ever needed to play this game nicely you know 
I know uh, I've, I've myself made some four times map, maps just for the fun of it. But I mean, imagine four of these maps joined together to make one map. Um, that's a four times map. Not even talking about 16 times maps. That is ridiculous. You can never, you can never play a 16 times map. You, you can hardly play a four times map, you alone. I know, uh, yeah, it is a job. You, you will never get around to play a four times map, let alone a 16 times map. <laughs> if you've got a team of guys, maybe, but I don't know if uh, 16 times maps um, multiplayer nicely. I think they laggy and whatever, but I've never tried even to, so I can't really talk on that, you know. Right, here's a debris crash on that side. Um, yeah, guys, um, we've had a look at the vehicles. We had a look at the, the um, animals. There's no animals yet because we haven't bought any animals on our main farm. But there's plenty of animals on the map um, that you can that you can buy and go around with. We've had a look at uh, um, the cell points, and we've had a look at the layout of the map. I must say, guys, I'm really impressed for the first map um, that. Um, this uh, friend of mine has built in his life. It is really nice. Um, came out good. Well done. Good job, bro. Oh, this is a layoff, uh, a hayloft here. Uh, I know it because I've modified the one on Ravenport. <laughs> this is the in game hayloft here. I've, I've struggled to modify that thing. My word, it was a mission. But anyway, I got it done at the end and it's looking good. But yes, guys. Um, we can all clap hands for um, Wholesale 2014. He's done a great, awesome job here making his own first map, Fat Man's Flat Land. So yeah, there we go, guys. I just thought I'll quickly share this with you. What can be done when you put your mind to something with a bit of patience and uh, endurance, you can really do it. So yeah, get cracking, guys. Um, make your own map to play and have fun, man. That's what it's all about. And uh, thank you so, so much for watching. A big thank you to my supporters, as always. And I'll catch you on the next time. Take care, man. Cheers.